What up, guys? Welcome to episode 68. All right, guys. Public holiday here in Sydney. How's everyone doing? How are you doing, Mum? All right, hey. Coming back, coming back home from the beach. Long day. But, uh, yep, so it's currently second week of school holidays. It is Monday, the 2nd of October. 2nd or 1st? Yeah, 2nd. 2nd second. Second of October. Um, yeah, so three months of the year. Left. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Um, which also means I've officially entered my last trimester. Congratulations. Congratulations. To us. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so um, thanks for watching our last episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, what are we talking about today? Let's go straight into it. All right, so we wanted to like chit chat about um, something that we've been speaking about lately. Um, in regards to you know healing from sexual trauma um it's just the role that you know your spouse Oof. plays Oof. the spouse or you know your Oof. partner um but yeah just the role that they play in healing yeah and um you know i think i it's come up if like recently in a couple of um yeah, just in a couple of conversations um, and it's just yeah it's just made us kind of like reflect on you know yeah. what got us to this place that we're at now which is a place where mm -hmm. I I feel safe to open up I um, yeah like which is massive eh? yeah but yeah exactly you know if I'm triggered or whatever like you know, just being in a place where I can write out those emotions, no matter how ugly those emotions are from being triggered. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does that make sense? No, no, specific. Like, you know, give some specific answers. Yeah, so, okay, specific, so. Specific uh, scenarios. Okay, so recently let's I not, was. Let's not be shooting, okay? Let's be okay, some, so recent... let's give us some real raw stuff, you know what I mean? Okay. Alright, so recently. I was um, triggered because someone challenged um, a boundary that I had put in place, right? Mm. But it's from my well-being mm -hmm. that is a result of, obviously, my trauma that I've gone through, okay? Um, and so someone challenged me on a boundary that I set in place and that triggered me yeah. because it made me kind of um, want to go back to hiding or to um like what's the word? like people pleasing and like okay yeah, then yeah go back to default uh, yeah like go back the to old no no to yeah who I or how I would react before um and so obviously because of that I was um you know when you're triggered you don't expect it right so it kind of just hits you out of nowhere so your emotions are high and being pregnant, I feel like that plays a role in my emotions being even more heightened. And so just being, um, yeah, just being able to just like cry yeah. freely and being okay with that. And, um, and, you know, I think there were days where I was, like short with the kids obviously because that was heavy on my mind and yeah. so reaching a place where I um obviously that's not it's, okay it's actually been a while since you kind of feel triggered yeah. like that eh? yeah it's been a while and so because it had been a while like it hit me bad like out of you know nowhere so because of that like just being able to reach a point where you know my emotions like leak out onto the kids yeah um like obviously like like i'm saying like it's not right but guinea understands me on that and can like pull me up but pull me up in a, in a way that is still comforting to me but still correcting towards me 
Does that make what, sense? Yeah, but what, what, like, let's, I know that I'm perfect now, you know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, oh man, how many mistakes, guys? <sighs> uh, what, 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 like, let's say you were triggered in the past, hmm. what would I, what, how would I react, right? How would I, how would I react to you being triggered? What would I do? That uh, was completely wrong. Why that th made it that triggered even more. Yeah, well, I think for myself and just the way that um, I am, because everyone's different, right? Everyone reacts different. Sorry, just to call myself. I didn't have clothes at the moment. Anyways, um, I think you would kind of like, you would go off at me. Mm. Like yeah. you would, like you would, um, yeah, you would like raise your voice at me and be like, and then it, it wasn't, it was that, but it was like what you would say. Like what? Like, oh, don't bring that, don't bring that outside rubbish into like our home and like, you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, like think positive. Yeah, like think positive. Um, just change, yeah, just change your mindset. Just change your mindset. <laughs> be a bigger person. Walk with fire. Be a bigger person, you know, like phrases and lines like that and i'm just like and how would that make you feel like in my mind guys i thought that was the right way to, to you know i think for any man out there and you know you guys brothers let me know like for any brother out there you know we're not emotional people right so i think most brothers out there will just try to solve the problem with you know for us we like to solve things yeah. yeah but we like to solve it yeah, yeah. like if there's fire there we like you know get water and fix it like fix it you know so that's how my mindset was where in reality it would what oh it would worse. just yeah it would just make me feel worse like make me how, feel how did that make you feel worse but like like in my mind it, it, it that's what i thought was right but like how did that make you feel well first of all because i'm already feeling low about mm. myself and about the decisions, right? Yeah. So for example, in this scenario, like being questioned on, being challenged on the boundaries. So then, so then I would feel like bad for even setting boundaries, mm. right? So then mm. I question my, um, like my value or like, you know. Yeah. Um, and then it's like, and then, you come out, you come up to me and say like this, this, that, and I'm just like, then it makes me feel even more. Because I'm your husband. Little. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm my making, husband. Yeah, I'm, I'm making you feel more little. More basically. little, yeah. So yeah. you're just belittling me. So you know, then I just want to crawl deep and deep into my little hole and just stay there. Yeah. You know, and then nothing gets fixed, right? Uh, then you start to not express yourself and not write out your emotions and you let it bottle up until they start to show up in different ways so yeah um so why, that's why do you why do you feel like i was reacting that way but oh because you just you didn't know how yeah. to <laughs> you didn't know you didn't understand what i was going through yeah and the reason why you didn't understand is because one, I didn't even understand what I was yeah, experiencing. Yeah, like I couldn't yeah, label yeah. I couldn't label it Aren't you? because Aren't you? I'm in I'm in the trenches of Aren't it you? all. Yeah. Like I'm in the thick of it all. Yeah. So I can't it's clouded, right? My mind and everything is clouded by emotion and by you know these words and you know the outside noise that I can't see things clearly. Yeah, it's not like you learned about your feelings and like yeah, it's the not healing like, process. Yeah, it's not. So you're still trying to kind of. Um, well, I think I've come. No, it, I don't think I know that I've come a long way. Being yeah, but you're trying to be more aware of what's happening. Yeah, self aware. Self awareness. Yeah, self -aware. And then for me, it was. Yeah, I think for me, guys, like for me, my, my, my mindset is. You know, not justifying that what I was doing was correct, but I just I didn't really know what was going on, to be honest. Like, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. You know, I I didn't experience what none experienced. You know, um, and I'm sure it was happening around me 100. percent But you know, uh, for guys, me and my brothers, we never really you know this is not something we talk about. You know, we talk about footy, yeah. talk about you know stuff like that. But yeah, well, that was never really. A, a so it was it was very new to me, guys. 
that's not, not me justifying, but I'm just saying, like, that's where I was coming from. So, I was bad. Hey. Yes. <laughs> I was bad, guys. I was... I would get frustrated. I'd be like, did you finish work? This and... Wow, oh, what's going on, man? What? And that, you know, guys, don't, don't, that, don't do what I did, man. That's... Just say it. Just say it. But for me, I just... I was just so used yeah, to Yeah, I'll be like... And for me, for me, guys, I, I'm like, I'm a, like, for me, if you, if there's something's wrong, like, tell me now, like, tell me so we yeah. can resolve it, right? So I'll get, I'll go off and now I'm like, no, no, just tell me, what are you doing? Like, oh man, what did I do? Like, we got this, we got a house, we got, you know, food, we got kids are blessed, and why, why are you thinking like this? Why are you bringing this energy? <laughs> I slap yourself, bro. Right? And what I didn't realize is the more that I did that, Nana would just go more closed off and closed off and she wouldn't open up. And I, I realized what I was doing was I was just belittling her even more and it wasn't a safe place. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I keep saying to my I keep saying to my I keep saying to my mom. I'm so, I just said to my I said to I said to Nana all the time, I'm so sorry I was like that. Like, man, I'm a bad husband, man. Yeah. I'm a bad Oh man. My apologies, man. My apologies. I, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Don't worry, I have eternity to make it up to you. <laughs> but yeah guys, that's um, like that's just the honest truth, guys. That's yeah. hey. Yeah. That's me being yeah. And it was just stupid. It was just no yeah. Yeah, but there was no understanding. Yeah, I just didn't, I, I didn't understand what was going on. I'm like, we, in my mind, guys, the way I justify is we've got kids, our kids are healthy, we've got a roof over our head, we've got each other, you know, we make covenants, you know, like, we've got food on the table, you know, you're healthy, I'm healthy, like, like, you know what I mean? But, 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 but. <laughs> so how did this transition happen? Like, how did we? Um... Yeah, well, I think I think for us and our. How did I make up make it up to you, babe? Yeah, well, I think our journey um, has been a really spiritual, intertwined journey. Yeah. And I think um, what well, I know, but a huge part of it was you know the call callings that you out in church oh, yeah. so the, the if you're not a member um like the assignments that he had um, in church so i think that helped you um be more open um and i think broaden your perspective yeah yeah um what's the word i think i was just naive eh? like it just really yeah like like i said like when you're not exposed to something you don't really know much about it yeah the world of it what's yeah, happening the, yeah, yeah. So, which is fine, you know, and then yeah. I think that coupled with your strong headed personality and your, and I used to say, oh, I not used to say it, but I would like say it to him sometimes, that there's like such a thing as toxic positivity and I felt like <laughs> that was him at times, like, especially when I was in a very vulnerable state, is that like, just his toxic positivity just was not it you know that wasn't the time for that kind of chat yeah. for me for me in the way that i yeah. that, for what i needed in in those moments because what i needed in those moments mm. was just to be seen and to be heard and to be hugged and to yeah. be listened to you know 100. um 100. not to be fixed not to be <laughs> any of that you know um but yeah just to be seen and heard and so yeah. yeah, I think that's definitely. Wait, wait, say that again. Say that again, because I think oh, it's important what you just said just then. I think you just said it as if it's like. What? So obviously, the, what I was doing was very like solve logical. it, logical. Let's solve it, and I think a big part of it, guys, because that's how I talk to myself. You know, I'm I'm like, come on, like I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. So I thought in my mind that's going to help her, but. What did way. you need? Like, what did you need? Like, tell people, like... I just needed, like, I needed to be validated. I needed to what, be... What would you mean by validated, babe? Like, babe, I'm feeling sad. Okay, babe, like... <laughs> this person, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry 
Yeah, how did I, how, how was my validation? Oh, who cares? Just be the bigger person. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think like that. Rookie, rookie. What a rookie yeah, guy. Yeah, so... You know, that's how he was, and then my, I guess my nature, I don't fight back that my... Yeah, Nana just, I just closes just, off. I just close off, I just remove myself, like, mentally, emotionally from the situation, you know? Um, and then that's where the bottling up happens. So you need to be validated? You need to feel validated? Yeah, I need what to else? be heard. Um, yeah. So what, yeah, do you well, mean, what do you mean by heard? Yeah, like... Oh, that's upper case, yeah. Speaker. Um, no, like, if I'm telling you that this person did me wrong, then just tell me, just agree with me in yeah. the moment. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't try to, don't try to correct, if I'm wrong, don't try to correct me in that moment. Yeah. Just try to, you know, just hear me out. Yeah. Be like, oh, okay. Sorry, like no, 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 just hug me in the moment, yeah. you know. And then when I'm not in such a vulnerable emotional state, then we can have a chit chat about, hey, I think maybe you should, you know, consider doing this or consider doing that, or have you thought about why? You and know, and, did and this look, way? look, guys, to be honest, oh. I am nowhere perfect at this, but I've come to realize that I wear different hats. You know what I mean? And you got to be careful of which hat you're wearing when you're talking to your wife. Okay? So sometimes I'm wearing the hat where I'm the husband. Uh, I've got to wear the hat where I've got to be the listener. Right? And then sometimes you got to wear the hat where you're just solving problems. Right? And you gotta, you got to wear the hat where you just got to show love. So the problem for me, guys... Is for me, I always just wear the hat that's like solve the problem, solve the problem, solve the problem. Ah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this is for the brothers out there so they can understand. Like, you know, you got to learn which hat to wear when, when none is talking to me, when we're talking. And I'm, I, I've got to be in a conscious state of mind and be like, all right, what type of guinea does she need to like <laughs> hear from? Is it the motivating guy? Is it the loving guy? Is it the just listening? You know, because depending on which hat you wear, guys, I'm telling you, brothers, this is why we get in trouble, man. <laughs> right? So that that's one thing. Like I, I think it's important, eh? Like yeah. and that. What to me, guys? That's You're not laughing a, about it, but this is not a natural yeah. thing to me, man. I am. I grew up with brothers, and it's just I'm not justifying it. I've had to learn. I've had to adapt. And it doesn't just happen like overnight. <laughs> oh, mate. Just, I think you just kind of get better. You both, like you both, just learn. I, I think with just every. Uh, I think Nana's really good at Nana's really good at this. Um, like what you want from me, like you're good at that stuff. I think because girls just know naturally, yeah. So. Maybe some of you guys have some perfect husbands out there, but for me, man, I'm bad. <laughs> I think you just you didn't understand really that's that's all it was and so I think a part on, on my end right like it's not just on him but a part of my end like because he didn't understand I had to explain yeah, so I, I, yes but I had to learn how to use my voice that was silenced yeah. from so many years like I had to learn to use it and be like oh hey like this is how I'm feeling and this is why I'm feeling this way. And this mm. is what I need, or this is what I want, or this is what I expect. Yeah. Um, and so even to just speak up and own your feelings and be okay with yeah. however you, like I felt, like that took a lot of time because I think for myself, like if you don't know, like I'm the oldest of 10. And so I think in a typical like island family like the oldest is just like just does whatever just listens like doesn't say nothing doesn't challenge anything well that's how i was anyway and so you know yeah, they, I, there's a lot the ex expectations, expectations a lot more higher, yeah. is yeah, yeah expectation is a lot more I agree. higher so My sister and we all were the same yeah 
you know, so you just do whatever, you know, your parents tell you. And so you kind of build this habit of not feeling what you want to feel or not um, feeling that you need permission all the time, right? And so when you're used to just like putting a hold on how you're feeling, when it comes to trauma, you do the exact same thing. But it's even worse because it's trauma and, you know, it, it affects you in, like, so many different ways. Yeah. Um, and then you, bring that, then you bring that into a relationship mm. or into a marriage. Marriage, yeah. Okay, and then where it's you, like... Where you're trying to get to know each other. Yeah, and then it's like your first, you know, your first years of marriage and it's like, okay, like, you know, there's... There's the whole figuring out of how to live with each other, how to yeah. bring two different backgrounds two different together, families. two different upbringings yeah. together, and then you couple that with trauma that you don't even understand yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. And I, I, I want to say these two. I don't think it's anyone's fault. You know what I mean? Like I don't want you to feel like it's your fault. You know, or, or that you. You know what I mean? Like people that have the like trauma, like oh, yeah, yeah. you know, they can feel like, oh, it's it's all mine. You know no, what I mean? It's not. But I, I think this principle applies to every marriage because everyone's carrying something. Something, yeah. You know, and you and you got to learn to live with each other. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not free. I know I'm not. You got to learn to navigate. You got to learn to navigate and understand each other. You got to be harm like that. You got to create that harmony and. So, yeah, so it's not just like, like a, you know what I mean, babe? You want to try to say, yeah. I, I don't want people to like feel like, or you to feel like, like this is all because of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? This is, you know, it is any, what I'm thinking in my professional <laughs> 10 years of marriage, right? If that means anything, it's like every, everyone's, everyone's got to learn to communicate yeah. Yeah, and adjust. And in our marriage, a big thing has been. Navigating, yeah. yeah. So, I want to mention this. This is this is guys, guys, big thing. This is why. This is where DNM drives started, right? Oh yeah. This is why we started our YouTube channel on DNM drives. Like, like this, like we we drove a lot, guys. Like, mm. part of me and Nana's healing for each other and and getting to know each other was just finding downtime to have time to speak to each other because at home the kids were you know always just being full on and so we would like strap them in their car seats and we'd just go and for drugs and they loved it they loved it they fall asleep yeah. but nowadays oh my gosh they just bicker and punch on back there <laughs> but this is yeah we spend a lot of time like in the car how many drives. times oh like almost every like second night we would just, just like drive just drive we will drive from like half an hour Drive around the area, just drive around Liverpool, Campbelltown, drive down to Cabra, yeah. go see some, uh, see my cousins over there, <laughs> Porky, Rosie, you know? So, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of time. Yeah. So I think it's important to find that time or create that time to, where you're not in any type of emotion, do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, like well, you're we can. not. Yeah, where relax, kind of a relax. Yeah, but where you're more relaxed. And what I mean by like and not in any type of emotion, what I mean is like that you're just in like a conscious state. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, where you're not. Yeah, just where you're. something in, about driving. Yeah, it was soothing. Yeah. Yeah, it was just soothing. We just enjoyed it. So. Um, I like this episode. I think this is a really cool episode. So anyways I wish I wish someone did this for when um, I first got married so I can watch it like Oh well, that's what you do. Anyways, I feel like there's just there's still more to this topic. Um so let us know guys what stands out to you or you know if you're in a similar boat or been through the same thing or go through the same thing. I Maybe mean, what, what what do you do? Um yeah, let us know what you do. Um, even you know, just we're like, still learning. We love yeah, even ladies. just like communication. Like, what do other couples do? Yeah, I'm sure they do things. Like, how I don't do you, know, how date, do you find go on a date food? once a week. You know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I feel like we didn't have that luxury, so ours was driving. Yeah, and we found that to be yeah. bomb digs for us. So yeah. Anyways, let us know. Let us know. Much love, guys. And yeah, GG, say bye.
Bye, guys. See ya.